booktube welcome back to Sven Made. I'm Sven. This week's book is called A Year in Provence by Peter Mayo and it's really really cool. It's another one of those travel books that I just love where it's all anecdotal. It's just the author telling you about what an amazing time they had and what an amazing a set of people that they met in these local areas where they were. It reminded me a lot of um, Peter Moore's books, his travel writing, um, in that same sort of friendly, anecdotal, awesome story telling kind of way. Um, the author and his wife move into a, a house in France and this is a recount of their first year there when they meet everyone and they have to buy a car and they do up their house and they deal with builders and all, everyone and their neighbours and um, they grow wine, grapes and have wine produced and it's just, it's really cute and really quirky and I really really enjoyed it. There's a lot of uh, great descriptions and wording in here, it's really really funny. I really enjoy comedy, especially in the way that it's produced as everyday everyday humor like just when people are really funny or when a situation is actually quite humorous and other people wouldn't necessarily see it in such a humorous way. I started out reading this book um, with my pencil and underlining the cool bits that I thought I would like but then I found that I was just underlining everything and was getting excited about everything so then I stopped so that I could enjoy it all. Also I realized that this book was written in 1989 which is as old as I am. It's a timeless novel except for when it mentioned 1992 and um, the fact that France would be part of a European Union um, and then that's just crazy because now with all of Brexit that's happened and everything it's like it's just interesting to see that changes in the social climate. That's the only thing I noticed though, nothing else was like wow that's from the 80s. The timelessness of the European countryside really came across forever be that classic and it really reminded me of the, my time that I spent in France. I don't think we were in Provence as such but we went to, uh, we stayed a week in a small little village called Crisset sur Mance and we stayed in a beautiful house and it was all old and it was just absolutely gorgeous. I'll put some images up. The descriptions in this book brought back a lot of memories, fond memories for me, so that was really cool. I really love this sort of genre, the travel writing. I think being immersed in another culture in this way is just so great and to feel somebody else's experience is just really satisfying. It's a satisfying read. I'm like, wow, they had a really good time. They met some really cool people. They really have a great life. And the best thing about this one is that it's, he's not a tourist, so he comes and he's got this house and he's actually living the culture and learning the language and dealing with uh, his neighbours. So he's becoming more of a local, even though he's an Englishman, he's in France becoming a local. And at the end of the book, he doesn't run away back to England or anything because he lives there now. Like, that's, that's so cool. Some of the characters in this are so great. Yeah, so it's really cute and funny. And it's a really heartwarming novel, like you really get a feel for the people and the characteristics of the whole place, I guess. <laughs> it paints a really quirky atmosphere, like you really want to go to these places in Provence and just spend the time amongst the grapevines with the crazy builders and the cute dogs looking for mushrooms. And It's written really relatably, like it's so easy to just find yourself going, oh yeah, that's a really cool, like, like really immersive, really relatable writing. Oh, oh, and it's got these really nice pictures. Where is it? Where'd I put it? Where'd it go? Where's my book? I've lost my book. I put it on the shelf. <laughs> so it's got these really, really pretty pictures in it. Like, look at this. It's just, it didn't distract at all from what was happening in the storyline. It just kind of, it, it tells the story month by month. It's sort of like a diary from the guy, but more jovial, more storytelling. I was like, actually, that's really cool. I really enjoy pictures in books, it turns out. Uh, picture books, they're cool, man. Um, like, look at this. If that doesn't just set a really cute little quaint scene, that, like, it really does. It's so cool. As an artist myself, I really enjoy that whole aspect of, like, look at this. This is beautiful. Yeah, I don't know, it just really adds a little bit of something to the story as you're reading it. Um, that the guy was there and he drew that there. Like, I imagine him there at the cafe sketching his wife. Like, I think that's just really beautiful and romantic and the whole story was beautiful and romantic. Even though there's no romance in there, uh, it, it, the atmosphere was romantic and the town was beautiful and it's just the sort of area that I would love. Also, I forgot to tell you that 
Um, while this book is as old as me, it was also given to my mum um, from a really good family friend. So that was a really nice little well wish to start with, which warmed my heart. Inside the book, I found this. So I was using it for a bookmark for a little bit, but then I stopped because I'm a terrible person and I dog eat the pages. And I'm not sure if it was made for me or for my uh, dolls, but I think it was made for me and I think my mum may have made it. It's just a little, a little bonnet. It seems very small for me. <laughs> so that was a cute little artifact to find inside, tucked inside with a little handwritten note from some family friends. Um, like that's really, it's really quaint and cute and one of the days I was reading this it was pouring rain outside and it was just a really, really nice experience to read it and I, I had a lot of, a lot of fun with it so I just thought I'd add that little anecdote in as well. So yeah. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Alright. Bye guys. Howdy